hello dear students welcome to your english literature roots and wings poem number 1 the felt mouse she is the writer of this poem she is the composer of this poem her name is cecil alexander cecil francis alexander she has written the most popular hymn the most famous hymn all things bright and beautiful all things wonderful all things bright and small the God, the lord made them all so uh, she was she was born on in the year 1818 and she died in the year 1895 so let's start the uh, poem this is as you can see the name of this poet poet poem is filled mouse that means it revolves around the filled mouse where the acorn tree acorn tumbles down where the acorn tumbles down acorn means here dear students the fruit of the oak tree where the ash tree shades its berry and where the tree that the ash tree shades that means falls down its nuts of berry with your fur so soft and brown with your eyes so round and merry scarcely moving the long grass filled mouse i can see you pass here the poet is talking about the filled mouse it says that the field mouse is having has soft brown fur and its eyes are round and bright round and merry and the poet sees this mouse rarely moving in the long grass when it passes through the grass little thing in what dark den lie you all the winter sleeping till warm weather comes again then once more i see you peeping round about the tall tree roots nibbling at their fallen fruits here the poet is saying little thing in what dark den lie you all the winter sleeping the poet is asking to the a uh, mouse that dear little thing where were you in the winter in your hole the whole winter season were you sleeping what were you doing in your dark den in your dark hole till warm weather comes again till the summer season comes again till that time what were you doing in your dark den then once more i see you peeping and when the summer season has come again i see you peeping through your hole peeping means looking outside the hole round about the tall tree roots nibbling at their fallen fruits i see you when the summer season comes again you are peeping through the hole you are playing you are eating the small bites of the fallen fruits around the tall tree roots that means around the roots of tall oak tree you are playing and you are eating the small bites of the fallen fruits fill mouse fill mouse do not go where the farmer tracks his treasure find the nut that falls below eat the acorn at your pleasure but you must not steal the grain he has stacked with so much pain so dear student here you have to see this word stacked is the most important word of this chapter the poet is saying fill mouse fill mouse it is requesting the fill mouse not to go where the farmer has collected his wealth where the farmer has kept his wealth means what dear student what is the wealth of a farmer you know the farmer works the whole year so much so hard and after at the end at the time of the harvest he gets the fruits the crops which he has grown 
and this is the wealth this is the treasure of this farmer so the poet is requesting the field mouse not to go to the place where the farmer has collected his grains he, he, the poet is saying to the poet is requesting to the mouse you eat the nuts that are fallen below under the roots you eat the acorn at your pleasure that means you eat the fruits of the oak tree how much you want with very pleasure with happily happily you eat it happily you eat the acorn happily you eat the nut but do one thing you must not steal the grain he has staked with so much pain but you should not steal the grain you should not steal dear students steal means you all know very well that means taking anything without the permission so the poet is saying you must not steal the grain which the farmer has stacked with so much pains stacked means collected the bundle the piles of the crops which the farmer has collected with so much pain you know how much hard work the farmer does the whole year whether it is rainy season or summer season or harsh winter he works he go to he goes to their goes to his field and works hard there to get the fruits to get the grains so the poet sympathizes here with the farmer so he is requesting the farm mouse not to eat the grain which was collected by the farmer make your hole where the mosses spring underneath the tall oaks shadow the poet is requesting one more thing to the poet uh, mouse he is saying to the mouse to make its hole under the root of the tall oak tree where the mosses are grown pretty quite harmless thing you are very pretty you are quiet you don't have to do anything with others you are not harming anyone so you have to just play around the sunny meadow go and play in the sunny meadow and keep yourself away from the corn and house of the farmer the poet is saying that you play outside in the meadow you play outside in the ground and you make your hole under the oak tree under the roots of the oak tree but you keep yourself away from the stored grain and near the house and the house of the farmer in this way you will be saved you will prevent yourself by getting hurt by anyone then no one will hurt you no one will harm you little mouse when you will not go and eat the corn of the farmer so this is in this way the farmer is saving to the pretty quiet little mouse also and the farmer is in this way requesting the mouse not to eat the grains which was collected by the farmer with so much of pain the poet is thinking is concerned about both of them here the hard worker farmer and the field mouse so i hope you have understood this poem you can see these mice they are playing under the oak tree and the farmer is saying these mice to play the whole their hole under this oak tree and not to go near the house of the farmer and when you will not go near the house of the farmer you will prevent yourself by getting beaten by anyone and in this way no one will harm you you will live happily your life and same way the farmer who has collected the grain with so much of hard work it will also be saved so thank you dear students i hope you all have understood this poem very well you can ask your questions in the class whatever you have not understood